Yo people, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a post-match carnage, post-match reaction for Liverpool 2, Chelsea 1. Liverpool remain top of the league. Liverpool continue to win games of football and pundits, fans and the wider footballing community continue to say we haven't played anyone. Well, I'm here to say Chelsea, I have predicted Chelsea to finish in the top four this season. Therefore, Chelsea are someone. <sighs> Deep breath after that. Wasn't the most convincing of performances, but it was never going to be plain easy. We know our record after international break of football. We know performances aren't smooth. We know there would be changes. And so it turned out to be McAllister not starting. Alisson, we knew out. Uh, and surprisingly, maybe to some Luis Diaz, uh, it doesn't start. Gakpo comes in and, of course, Curtis Jones, fresh from becoming a father this week, comes into the place of McAllister. Chelsea made a few changes as well. And look, I'm not going to lie, Chelsea were good. Chelsea were very good in that first half, uh, in the opening, sorry, 20 minutes or so. Um, but we played differently. Uh, I said in a, in a pre-match show that we needed to make a fast and hungry and a clock start start but we don't play like that we don't really play a high block under slot we play a low to mid block and we, we prefer to control in with possession and positional play and look even though Chelsea had plenty of the ball I thought there wasn't much threat in fact I don't remember any chances per se uh, Cole Palmer has that shot where he must do better um, but yeah look Mohamed Salah Literally was doing the watch along in the other room for the mob and the big six. Go and check it out if you haven't checked it out already. It was fantastic support again. Um, Mohammed, they were talking about Mohamed Salah and sort of how he's not having the greatest of 20 minutes or 25 minutes. And I said, that's absolutely fine. But what this guy does has influence on foot games of football. And five minutes later, he's pulled out a ball out of the sky beautifully, held off Cole, put him on the floor. Cole's dragged him down. Cancelo's semi gone down but gone up again and managed to get in a shot that was handball but it wasn't given. But Cole was so discombobulated by then that three minutes later in the box, another Curtis Jones, the ball falls to Curtis Jones and again Salah instigates the attack. Curtis Jones about to take a shot. Cole lashes out penalty. I'm not a Mohamed Salah penalty taking fan but the guy just... You know, very rarely misses and scores 1-0 Liverpool. And that's where we should have scored the second goal. That's where sometimes I think under Jurgen Klopp we would have gone for the kill. Under Slot we try to control the proceedings and the storm. We don't raise the storm, we kind of sort of, um, to use another al analogy, we just try to dry things up as opposed to make it more stormy and end-to-end. -end. Um, but we have another chance where Curtis Jones goes through. Um, I think takes a touch too much Sanchez comes out penalty is given at the time I didn't think it was a penalty on first showing when you look back the guy barely gets a touch to the ball but I still think that's dangerous play and clumsy play so it could have gone either way 50-50 but you know at half time 1-0 up I, I didn't sense the sense of composure and comfortability that have been in other games this season I still think the game's on edge I still thought it's a game of fine margins. We get cold. We get cold, caught cold in the second half. Kaiseido with way too much space. Kanate just by about two centimetres misses the perfect offside trap that would have been. Virgil plays his role, the high line. Kanate just caught but five centimetres out of position. Kai and and, and Moise, uh, Action Jackson, fair play to him. Great finish. Um, needed a response and what a response. Mohamed Salah again. Mohamed Salah again cuts in with the most sumptuous pass. Not a cross, not a, a cross, one of those ones into a corridor of uncertainty and see what happens. A precise pass into the box. Curtis Jones with another lung bursting run. Lovely touch. Okay, an okay touch. People were saying, what a touch, but it got a little bit away from him. But it actually helps because his touch away from him encourages Sanchez to come out and think he can get it. But then Curtis Jones lunges in. And puts the ball in the back of the net. So far this season, when Liverpool take the lead, I'm comfortable, but I wasn't comfortable again. I wasn't comfortable again. Obviously, without McAllister controlling proceedings, I knew Curtis Jones would tire. 
but he had a very good game. I thought Gravel Birch was class again. I thought Sabozla's work rate, but on the ball has to still do much better, especially retaining possession. Off the ball, his defensive numbers, I don't I'm scared to look at his defensive numbers today, um, were magnificent. I thought on the whole, the back four were very, very good. Very good. Kelleher didn't have a save to make, but he was nervous. When you're watching it live with the mob, you get nervous. I was on edge and they were like, why are you nervous? Why are you nervous? Oh, it's 2-1. Anything can happen. Um, and Vega has that chance where he's an in-swinging free kick. Clear head, I could have done better. So things can happen. Kelleher doesn't have a chance, a uh, save to make. Apparently, our XG was 1.63 compared to 0.64 or something, which gives you a better indication of how the game panned out. But listen, at the end of the day, it was about getting three points today and really, really consolidating our place at the top. We saw Arsenal dropping points. We saw City coming within another last kick of the game of dropping points. Um, so we had to consolidate. Of course, next season is the litmus test, is the one, the second game, second hardest game of the season away to Arsenal. And it will be a test of our title credentials if we're really title challengers at the moment. I'm very happy with the progress we've made and not the regression that many thought we we're going to make. So under slot, people thought that we're going to regress. We haven't. In fact, we've progressed. We've continued very rich vein, vein of form, barring the forest result, of course, as we know. But a couple of talking points in terms of penalty decisions, situations, offsides. The game was tense. I don't think it was the highest game, quality game, but then I don't think after the international break, many games have been of high quality. I think you'd agree. So look, we've done what we've done. We, we've done what we had to do. Um, we hope to have an injury-free week against Leipzig before we go to 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 the, the Emirates next week, which will be a huge game. There's no getting away from it. There's no getting away from it. It's crunch time now. The next five, six weeks define our season. Even though it's November, that's mad. October. Even though it's October, the next five, six weeks define our season. Um, I want to say this is a season-defining win, but I think it's an encouraging win. Next week, if we win, it could be season-defining. If we lose, nothing changes, in my opinion. Because in my opinion, we're not the top two favourites for the league. But if we go to Arsenal and get three points, it's a different conversation. We will have that conversation with you during the week, next week, post-match next week as well, and see how we go on. Before that, we have Leipzig. Hope you guys have liked, subscribed the video. I thought I'd do it from the studio as opposed to go to the car today because just I'm a little bit excited the first time this season in terms of... To me, that felt like a big game. To me, for the first time this season, it felt like a bit of tension and jeopardy in it. Whereas the rest of the games were like, we're expected to win comfortably and everything's fine. But today, a few eyes were on us. Thinking, mm, this is the first test because, as I said, I'm a fan of Maresca. I thought he made the right changes. I thought his team performed very well. Chelsea fans, the Chelsea team got nothing to be ashamed of or anything like that. They were probably very good. They, 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 they put in a good performance. But for us, it was absolutely vital that we get three points after the international break. I must stress, international break... Post-international break, Liverpool aren't great. But as I said, huge week, huge build-up. We will have loads of shows, preview shows, all of that business. Like, subscribe if you haven't. Leave me your man of the match. My man of the match was Curtis Jones, the way he stepped in. All eyes were on him. Um, congratulations for becoming a father. And on top of that, scoring the match-winning goal in a vital game. Over and out. Take care. Peace.